Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0. And today is day 64. Today we are back inside of the KW Command app on our phones, and we're going to do a kind of a duo video today. We're going to talk about tasks and a really cool release that just came out here this week or last week around sharing neighborhood specifics via the app. So let's start off. We can see on our home screen at the very top there, we have our tasks applet, and we can see that we have tasks due today, due soon, and uh-oh, we've got a past due task. So I want to show you what it's like to knock out tasks. Not that you would ever have any go past due, but just in case you had some that were due today, maybe you want to get ahead, you can catch up and do some due soon or some past due. We're going to click on the red tile in the top right-hand corner where it says past due. And you'll see that we have a task there inside of our task list. And we know that's a call task because in the bottom right, we can see that phone icon with the word call. So the cool thing about this is we can actually click on that word call and immediately it pulls up from the bottom of the phone. Hey, how do you want to call this person? If you have WhatsApp on your phone, it'll allow you to call through WhatsApp or through your mobile primary device. So in this case, I'm just going to say, I'm going to use my primary device. It's going to say, is that the number you want to call? I'm going to say yes. It's going to dial the phone. I'm going to go ahead and hang up. And the cool thing about tasks from your phone using the command app is that command realizes that you just made a call task. And it says, hey, do you want to mark this as complete? Or do you want to add an activity and then mark it as complete? And if you don't want to do either, you can click on cancel. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and choose to add a call activity and then mark as complete. Because I'm adding an activity, it's going to say, okay, what kind of activity was it? And by default, it says it was a call activity. By default, it gives us today's date. And then it says, what was the interaction outcome? We're just going to say uh, no answer. And then did not answer. We'll call again next month. All right. And I can click on save in the top right hand corner. And immediately that task is now completed. And if we go down to the second applet over at the bottom, our contacts applet, let's go pull up my contact record. And we're going to choose timeline at the very top. You can see across the top, the different tabs. So we're going to choose timeline. And there you go. We can see two pieces of activity. One, that a task was completed at 8 a.m. this morning. And two, that a call was logged no answer and then there's a note that says did not answer we'll call again next month so this is a fantastic way to knock out specifically call tasks you can knock out any task from your phone but specifically call tasks you can really power through these just by calling logging the notes next task call log note next task call log note and get through all of your calls without having to have your laptop or desktop computer available the second thing I wanted to show you today, again, is a new feature release that I think is very cool. We're going to go back to the details section. So you would pull up any contact card in this case from your mobile device. And we've got my contact card pulled up. Actually, let's go back one step. Let's pull up Balky. Good old fictional character, Balky Bartolkamus. I don't know how you say his last name, but we're going to pull up his fictional contact record. We're going to scroll down and you're actually going to see that based upon the fake address we put in, Balky's actually been assigned to a neighborhood called Lincoln Square. If I click on that gray circle that says Lincoln Square, or excuse me, actually, we're going to click on Add Remove next to the Neighborhood section. And when we do, it zooms the map in on Lincoln Square, right? So that's the neighborhood in Chicago he's been subscribed to. And you can see at the very bottom, there's a list. It says Neighborhoods for Balky. Lincoln Square, Chicago, Illinois, and there's a three little dots and ellipses on the far right. We're going to click on those three dots, and we now have an option that says View Details or Share Details. If you want to know the stats around Lincoln Square, you could click on View Details, and immediately it pulls up a neighborhood page. We're going to accept our cookies, and you can see this is an entire page around Lincoln Square. So here's a great way, if you weren't sure that your contacts were actually looking at the data around their neighborhood, or maybe a neighborhood they're interested in moving into, this would be a really easy way to pull up that data. And if you like the data, which this seems very comprehensive for this neighborhood, I could go back to command, top left, I'm gonna go back to the command app. 
I'm gonna go back down to the bottom again, click on the three dots next to Lincoln Square, and I'm gonna click on Share Details. When I do that, I get the option to decide how I want that shared. So I'm gonna click on Messages, and I'm just gonna text this to myself so I can show you what this looks like. So I now have a new text message, so I'm gonna pull up my phone, open up that text message, and you can see at the very bottom, I did some testing earlier, so you can see I've done this more than once, but we're gonna open up that text. Pretend like I am now the consumer receiving a text from you. Maybe it says, hey, some great homes for sale in this neighborhood, or you asked me about neighborhoods that I thought might be a good fit for you, here's one. Click on it to check out more information. If I click on that neighborhood, I get taken back to that page. And oh, by the way, it gets taken to a page on your agent site. So that way, if they do look at any properties, if they have any questions, right, as we scroll down, they're gonna get into the property section. I can click on the property and I can open it up. That's gonna actually open up the consumer app, right? And then start to provide information about the consumer's property. Now, that's a test environment that we're using for our new KW consumer app. So disregard what you just saw, you'll see that soon enough. And yet a really cool way for people to find out information about neighborhoods and properties and tie it back to your KW Consumer app. That's it for today, guys. Day 64. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And as always, I look forward to talking to you again real soon.